Okay, in this video I'm going to talk about our Simply Postcode React example. Let's just uh, start it up. It's been downloaded. I've just gone in it um, and I've put a data key in it. Let's just talk about that first. Now the data key identifies your account and it goes in this file here, address UI section, which is in the components subdirectory. Now this strange looking code here is issued to you when you open an account with us. So if you want to um, start coding straight away, you can sign up for a trial from the top right hand corner of our website and that will give you access to one postcode area. Now you're asking what is one postcode area, what does that mean? It means the first two letters of a postcode. So for instance I live in a PE postcode, PE132QL, then I could select PE and then I could um, search for all PE based uh, postcodes. Uh, to get myself up and running and get on with the coding. So uh, having said that, we'd put that code in there and that would sort of enable the project. So yeah, I've opened it in Visual Code, Visual Studio, and I'm just going to start the um, the web server up by typing npm start. And the first thing I can say about this page is obviously um, it uh, is an example. So you as a programmer can um, rearrange this code and change slightly the way it works and certainly the way it looks. Uh, so what do we got here? Well we've got uh, basically a container and an area here to search for a postcode and an area here to display the resulting address or allow the user to enter their own address. So if I was to type in here my own postcode and press return or press the search button it now presents me with a list of postcodes uh, of addresses at that postcode. So as a user, I would select that. I can then press the select address button or I can just simply double click on that. And now it's filled in the address. Now, if the address was unknown, it was a complete load of rubbish. It will say postcode not found. Uh, it will also display any licensing errors in that box there. So if you fail to put in um, the data key, for instance, you should get an error saying that the uh, the um, license is invalid. Now, if I put in, um, let's enter an, a, a postcode which actually has some company names. So there you can see I've got a, a firm called My Dentist 224 Exchange um, Square Wisbeach. I just select that. And you can see there's filled in the company name, the house name or number, etc. postcode. Now if you were working in a sort of um, sending stuff to the public, you would probably possibly drop that company name. Um, so that's easily mapped out. So let's just talk about the um, structure of the code. Uh, and in here I have a kind of diagram representing what we're seeing on the right hand side here. So obviously app.js is our overall container, so we've got a class name container. Um, and we've got a component making up that top section which is called address UI section, followed by a SPL search uh, container. And having pressed the search button that will show SPL list um, selection which is a list box. We've used list box because uh, on mobile devices such as Apple and things it, it shows a customized um, like scroll wheel at the bottom um, and then that gets hidden and replaced. Uh, the address gets written to the UI, address UI plus there's a shared object which stores the address so if the user types in or changes the address then uh, the shared sort of memory record gets updated because it's uh, kind of mapped using React. So let's go through that code. So here we've got the UI section, address UI section, which kind of encapsulates the whole of um, this area here. So if you had two addresses, you might have two of those. And obviously if it was a checkout, you'd have various other sections on this page. So now if we go to the UI section, you can see here we've got a fair amount of code in this. Um, so we've got a few variables, we've got a few um, subcomponents being loaded such as the search, the search list and the address UI which are the three elements uh, there, um, there and um, there. That's the address UI. So you've got this, 
the S sorry so this is the SPL section here let's just rearrange this shall we yeah so we got the search part here uh, the list is this section here that appears uh, the address UI is the bottom down here that shows the address and the address rec provider is kind of a shared object which um, the simply postcode code writes back the information into for display is kind of bound to these fields here so as I said earlier you put your data key in here and we've got a show search list which is basically a boolean which is set to false that um, basically drives this section being hidden um, we've got error text which is um, displayed if something isn't found uh, this is my license information and then we've got the selection lines which is the uh, which holds all this ready for selection um, so down here we're then uh, saying all components share the address record provider let's just show the address record provider which basically holds and mimics this information it's bound to all these fields here so that just holds the address information um, so the user can edit it the program can use it and simply postcode can update it once one of those lines are selected so let's go back to the original code so here we've got the search object at the top here which we're passing um, a function so when we press this button here that relays back and calls this search function here um, which I believe then calls asynchronously our um, our JSON API here for the address and updates puts any lines it finds into the selection lines and shows that section so that basically has shown that section loaded all those lines and put in the list box let's change this value which is then shown the list box object and the list or oh, sorry list list component as it's called in react um, which takes uh, the data key the lines whether it should shown or not and the list etc um, and this then this then renders out a, um, a list which um, basically goes through all of the lines uh, using the map function to add them to the list box so basically the list box mimics uh, what's in the selection lines um, JSON array and uh, I think we've got an event on here to handle a double click or selection oh yeah a double a collect um, sorry we've got we've got a function here to handle a change and one to handle double click and also if you were to press the select button down here which appears when something's selected um, that also fires off the same event so basically the on uh, change is basically getting um, the ID of the list box which changes every time you click on something now that ID is a long string which is then fired back to our website to get the full information for that single line so if I double click on there that would then call our server to get the full address of 8 Victoria Road Wisbeach um, so yeah so that's storing the um, ID and like I say then we fire off if it's selected we fire off SPL selected and I think SPL selected yeah then calls again an asynchronous function which either updates the status if there's an error or writes back the address information into our um, address rec here and therefore um, let me think therefore um, is updated on the screen and it's updated on the screen because the address UI here is basically uh, mapped to that address rec and uh, any changes are written back to it um, so therefore that record basically mimics whatever the user sees on the screen so that you could then use 
in your checkout code to populate whatever database entries you need to to make um, and I think that just about covers um, this walkthrough uh, obviously you can take this and pop this in your own project uh, there's a little bit of styling here it's quite minimal um, I think everything prefix with SPL there's a few buttons in this box a bit of styling there just to pretty it up um, so yeah good luck uh, we have um, an email address of support at simply postcode if you should need any help but having watched this I'm sure any react programmer can take this code on board thank you